I thought I've heard and seen it all in the Idaho 4 case, especially regarding Brian Koberger. I mean people were even fabricating things, just for views and likes. The latest is the articles on the People's site, claiming that Brian visited the Mad Greek restaurant twice, before the killings. However, Mad Greek put a stop to that, calling it false, and that media should do their due diligence before putting out the information. Let me tell you, it gets crazier. Brian Koberger now has fans. People actually created a fan page for him, posting tributes to the accused Idaho 4 killer. It doesn't get crazier than that. Well, except maybe for the women claiming to be in love with Brian. I've recently come across this page. I don't want to expose the person's name and pictures and all that, but she's been posting numerous posts about the connection she feels to Brian Koberger. The comment section is of course going crazy, saying that she needs help. Like this post for example. The bottom of it says, not everyone has to understand my true feelings, intentions and motivations, but I want the one that's significant to me, and that I have significant feelings for, meaning my love interest which Brian is to me. This lady is writing to Brian Koberger in jail, and has even called the jail to ask about him. They asked her if she was a friend of Brian's, to which she replied no. She also says in other posts, that she sent Brian pictures of herself. In another post, she says, I've decided to come on here and mention that in one of the letters I mailed to Brian on Friday, I told him about how I have a 16-year-old son, and have been a single mother for years with no love life, and how I haven't wanted to be discarded by a man that I'd want, due to that. So, not much more I can say about that. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Look at all the women that love Ted Bundy. Drop your thoughts down below.